to jump on trying to get an interview. But I am now recording, so can you please okay. say and spell out your first and last name and then give your like title or position? Certainly. My name is Elizabeth Roberts. My last name is spelled R-O-B-E-R-T-S. But the kids call me Salamander, and my position is the program supervisor, which is like the principal of Camp Keep. Um, I'm one of two uh, program supervisors. Our, we have two campuses with uh, each of us running. Awesome. Fantastic. Okay, well, first, can you go ahead and, um, you know, explain what, how Camp Keep usually functions during a normal year? So during a normal year, the fifth or sixth grade class will um, fundraise and organize and get, you know, all their preparations made over the course of a month or two. And um, the day of Camp Keep, they load up a bus, usually around eight in the morning. They drive out three hours uh, with their backpacks and suitcases and sleeping bags, and they um, spend the week at our camp. They have five days with us. We do everything from wake them up in the morning and feed them all their meals. We take them hiking in the different ecosystems and do intensive science studies. And in the evenings, we uh, play science games and nature games and we'll have a campfire every night before we send them to bed. And so they come on Monday and they leave on Friday, five day week. That's cool. So. Now with everything that's gone on this year, what is it going to look like? So it's going to be a little different this year. In the summertime when we realized that Kern County schools weren't going to reopen as normal, and even beyond that we realized that even if schools had a partial reopening or a hybrid reopening, the reality of kids coming to camp wasn't going to be, you know, safety and health allowed. Uh, we decided we had to set up something instead an alternative so we came up with this idea of the virtual camp keep program so it's still five days it still starts on monday and it ends on friday and the idea is the school takes the week to focus on science for that week we've provided the teachers with a day-by-day -day guide of what they're going to do every day with the kids the kids will access the camp keep a website that we built for the program called virtual camp keep and they'll go through a series of activities each day with their teacher. The activities range from, you know, a morning introduction where we discuss a quote of the day and they learn the bird of the day and they see a silly campfire song and then they go into the field trips. And so we have five um, minute or so videos where we take the camera out on the different field trips the kids would normally go on and we ask them to make observations in those ecosystems and we teach them about the different animals and plants that we see along the way. And then in the afternoon, when the kids would normally have like an independent study time at home, we have a series of optional activities for them to do. Just like at Camp Keep, they would choose to maybe go hold snakes on their, you know, extra time or learn about the garden or figure out how we use weather instruments. And so they get to do one of those every afternoon of the week. And then we end up every day with a family activity. And so at, at night at Camp Keep, we continue to learn. We have a night hike one night. We have a um, name tag project one night. We have a food chain game. And so we've converted those to a virtual setting so they can do that with their families at home. And we end every night with a pre-recorded campfire. Our talented staff put together a 30 to 40 minute campfire for every night of the week with the best of our songs and the best of stories in a way that's interactive. And so when the kids watch it with their families, they can sing along, they can do the silly motions, or they can just, you know, pop some popcorn and relax and enjoy the show. Um, some teachers are actually inviting the kids like one night you know, I'm, I'm going to watch this with my class. Come watch on my Zoom meeting with me. That's optional, but some teachers are having a great time doing that. So beyond all those activities, I will meet with every class that signs up for three live lessons during the week. And we'll get together for 45 minutes on Zoom, and we will concentrate on the same scientific skills that they would do at Camp Keep. But instead of being out in an ecosystem, we've brought the science to them. So I brought with me just so you can see it. Every kid gets a Camp Keep backpack made special for virtual Camp Keep. Nobody else in the history of Keep has ever had one of those. And in the backpack, it's filled with scientific tools. They'll get their magnifying glass so they can, you know, magnify things. They'll get their um, tape measure so they can measure things. They'll get their Camp Keep journal that every kid who comes gets. And this is what they fill out and it's their souvenir. Some 
parent chaperones have told me that they still have their Camp Keep journal from sixth oh. grade. You know, they'll get their Camp Keep pencil yeah. and we'll have our series of lessons where we are investigating a natural object that I've brought from camp. Um, we are learning how scientists use tools to study it and observe it and use scientific language to talk about what we have observed. And then we will journal and we'll do scientific journaling skills. We'll teach them how scientists journal, why they journal, and what options they have to include in their journal. So, for example, one of our lessons, I brought a little um, thing with me, we do a mystery skull lesson. So this is an animal that lives near Camp Keep, and the kids have to observe it. I'll put it on my document camera so it's like blown up really big in their screen. They have to notice about the teeth and the nose and the eyes and the size of the brain and all those things. And then they get into groups and they have to use evidence to have a scientific argument about what it might be. Okay, and then once they think they figured it out, they come back and share, and then we have the big reveal for them. So that's an example of the kind of like hands-on interactive things that we try to bring to a Zoom lesson. I think that sounds really cool. I, and it definitely looks like everything has been, you know, planned out and thought of and everything. What is the actual purpose of Camp Keep? Well, that's a great question because a lot of times people don't see all the parts of it. So usually educators, you know, administrators and principals will see the side that is the science based. Okay, so that's one part of Camp Keep. It's an important uh, intensive week of science. That's really what we're focusing on. And a lot of times in elementary schools, sometimes in middle schools, but a lot of times in elementary schools, science is like the bonus, it's the extra. And maybe a teacher doesn't have time or maybe they don't have the expertise to really focus on it. So this is intensive science and it's important for young adults to learn how to think like a scientist, to learn how to um, use evidence, to observe things for themselves, and to have a respectful uh, discussion. Because a lot of times in life, we have seen, uh, sometimes discussions aren't as respectful, and that is a scientific skill that they're learning. Um, the other part of Camp Keep, besides the whole science, you know, the focus on ecosystems and food chains and all of that, the other part of it is the social and emotional learning that goes on. So kids are away from their family. A lot of times families can't believe that kids can get themselves ready in the morning, help out with chores, you know, take care of themselves all day long. And sure, they stumble along the way, but we're there to help support them. And we're there to help them realize that they are so much more capable than maybe they ever realized. When a kid climbs a mountain with our staff, they suddenly realize that when something's hard, they can persevere and they can be successful. When a kid does a journal entry on their own for the first time and they're proud of it, suddenly they have this feeling that they can do science and it's not, they're not, you know, a dumb student or they're not the, the person that always goofs off. They can actually do science and they can be recognized for their success. Um, part of it is the friendships that they build with each other and, and the shared experience makes kind of a deep bonding. So some of that stuff we're not able to recreate in a virtual setting. You know, kids aren't going to go leave their family for a week, but we can create this shared experience. We can create this um, kind of magical moment that nobody else gets, just their sixth grade class and other sixth grade classes. It's a rite of passage that they get to participate in, even though it's not the normal camp keep experience. It's an alternative that's pretty, pretty darn good. It sure sounds like it. It sure sounds like really uh, the purpose is not lost um, even with, you know, having to go virtual or anything. And, yeah. and with, with the amount of planning and, and organization that uh, sounds like has gone into this, that's amazing. Yeah. Um, so we've been, we've been working since spring. Uh, we had kind of the kernel of the idea last spring. So we started creating all the videos and the website last spring. And then uh, once our superintendent gave us permission to really go forward, it's been the last two months of, you know, figuring out how all the processes are going to work and plan out the lessons and plan out the teacher support guides and figure out what would go in the science kits, because we want it to be seamless. We don't want it to be something that's difficult for a teacher to do. Their, you know, year teaching is difficult enough. This is a chance for them to be part of our class, you know, the teacher has to come and be the co-host with me, but they get to sit back and participate and they get to watch their kids participate. Mm -hmm. And one incredible thing that I've heard, we've only had two weeks so far, but 
both uh, schools have reported to me that kids that aren't necessarily engaged in the in the actual school lessons before virtual camp keep showed up to every single lesson raised their hand to participate typed things in chat when i asked questions and turned in work that was outstanding and some of the kids that were turning in outstanding work don't normally do that that you know they're maybe below grade level or they just have a hard time concentrating but they were um, energized and excited about the lessons and so they were um, sh having a great deal of success. And that's one magical thing that happens at KEEP. A lot of teachers tell us that the kids that they don't expect to um, be amazing students come to KEEP and shine because it's a different way of learning. You know, when you can learn hands-on by doing things and you don't have to sit still the entire time, you're allowed to wiggle a little bit and you're allowed to, you know, have different outlets for your energy you can be successful even if you're not a traditionally good student. So that's been translating to these virtual lessons, which I am personally really excited about. I think it sounds awesome. We're really excited too. Um, it, I know you have to go teach, but is there anything else that uh, you would like to share with like the audience? Well, I just I want people to know that we've had a, a tremendous outpouring of support from the Kern County School Districts. We uh, pitched the program to all of our schools and we started to have a few signups. And then when we um, our, our assistant superintendent let all the school uh, district superintendents know about it and they have mm -hmm. found ways to make it affordable for their schools. A lot of them are paying for the experience out of their uh, COVID relief money um, so that schools don't have to worry about fundraising and parents don't have to worry about like raising the money to do it. So um, I really appreciate that. We've had more than 8,000 students sign up, more than 200 classes. I think we're like at 280 classes right now. Um, and some of the, you know, we're still waiting. We're still hoping that a few of our districts will sign up and a few of our schools that aren't in it will. But the outpouring of support has been amazing. And I'm, and I'm just so proud of that. And I want to give a special thank you to our Keep Foundation for these science backpacks mm -hmm. because they sponsored it. They sponsored it for quite a bit of money to help bring the price down so that it, they were affordable. And just, you know, if there's any other businesses or community organizations out there that would like to help us, we have them sponsored for the first half of the year and we'd like to continue to keep the price low and affordable. And if anybody, you know, has a connection, we would appreciate that and they can contact Camp Keep. Awesome, 